Hi, this is George Lees on the last day in August, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, and this video that I'm going to be reproducing uh, is the story of the skull and bones, and that is the secret society in America that the Bushes were notorious for being in. And I want to explain uh, what, why that is relevant. Uh, and we've got a wedding today. Uh, and it's the families that are in uh, the hotel and own it. Uh, so, uh, uh, and just in case uh, anybody does anything seriously uh, vengeful after I've made the video, uh, the venue is the Newcastle Arms in Coldstream. Uh, legendary place for having bodyguards for the Queen of England. Uh, and so, Skull and Bones, Dan Speak, September 2002. Let's get the story first, and I'll show you uh, some of the key characters now before we start. Oh no, they may not be in the actual story. Uh, let's... Let's uh, show you how the names of the world's banks are created by the world's most treasonous families. Yeah, that's Chase Manhattan in this case. That was launched by the Fleming family of Dundee uh, once they had gone uh, to America. Uh, and that is also the ancestors of Rothschild, Hammett Dunn, all of it leads to, eventually, the massive pistake. Everybody at the wedding is wearing kilts, and that is the pistake that everybody that died in kilts died hundreds and hundreds of thousands and thousands of miles from home. And that then becomes, for the Fleming family, the launch of Scottish widows as a corporate uh, and replacing the Chase Manhattan Bank uh, that replaced all the names for the banks that were in the local, yeah, that's the, the bank bars in Dundee were founded by Fleming. And everybody knows now, including Field McConnell, yeah, in America, who's actually a relative of the Duke of Wellington for Rothschild. Yeah, they are all the families that have been the double agents, like the Bertie Wooster family, uh, and the kilt thing is the massive joke that we have died in these mountains thousands of miles from our home, uh, and that is the, these are not my mountain songs for all of the patriotic turncoats that are the Scottish people. Yeah, and I would not be making this video in Dundee if I did not have faith in the family uh, that have allowed me to do that. Okay? Uh, I will not tell you their name at this stage. <laughs> but it's their family that are in kilts today. I'll try and keep them safe. <laughs> okay? So, let me show you some of the background. Uh, there is... Uh, and they're uh, legendary in these secret societies for doing murders. And I've just seen one of the staff carrying a knife up towards the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, and they rip hearts out and things. Uh, and when I discovered the parallels from the, uh, the Indiana Jones movies about ripping the hearts out, uh, the sun came pouring out uh, for the first time today, massive, yet yeah, all the clouds just disappeared all at once and suddenly all of the skies were blue. So let me let you get some of the history of the Bush family. When I saw that face this morning, I immediately recognised as a bloodline that is not alive and well in the Scottish borders, but they are alive and they are totally deformed uh, with the type of illnesses that you get 
when your family's too closely inbred. <laughs> yeah, they shoot with the Duke of Northumberland, whose family is notorious for shooting their family if they're older than them in the bloodline tree under in the male gender. Yeah, that is the massive number of killings that the younger brother does in the powerful bloodlines. Yeah, and they do not get much more powerful than this one. This is the dynasty that is married into the Tyson families from the, uh, the uh, Mülheim region of Germany. And the mule in the story is Jesus. Yeah, the C in the middle of that name is Chase. Fred Chase Cock. These are the relatives and the grandpas of the Bush family that were trading with the enemy in the wars. There is the logo when they, uh, they changed the name of their banks to Chase Manhattan. And that did not make much sense to me up to this point, but today it does. Yeah, Fred Chase Cock. And my wife's name is Hancocks. And we'll just have to look a little bit deeper to see whether or not she gets guilt when that is told her. Yeah, but the real one may still actually be uh, in captivity by these families because the whole of my divorce has been engineered by a dumb blonde that did not look very much like my wife. Yeah, and all of it is absolutely easy for these families that have got loads and loads of ways of creating things called doppelgangers, which are body doubles. Okay, so let me now keep going and let me show you uh, what the secret society is that the Bush family uh, were able to join. Uh, and I'm just going to let that play on its own without interruption unless there's something particularly relevant or poignant. So it's the skull and bones and the bushes uh, have acknowledged that they were in that in the lead up to the war in 1937 where they had already left Europe using the name Scherf for their cross-border controls uh, and then they changed their name to Bush. Uh, and they are alleged to have made their money by robbing the inventor that is Tesla blind. Uh, and I have nothing to add to that. Uh, they used to work in his labs, they used to look over his shoulders, and they had the wits uh, to publish the patents first. Yeah, uh, And all of that is, everybody that went with them is alleged to be the Third Reich families, but they're actually the Austrian aristocrat families. Yeah, because the Bushes are aristocrats. They are, that is the, the bloodline tree that we've been busy profiling. Yeah, all of them are in the same families. That's Trump, Heller, that Roddenroth, uh, uh, Trump, Heller, uh, and all of the links to all of their competition for presidents, everything is out of Europe. Because remember, America's native sons are the Indians. That is the massive joke, yeah? Uh, good morning, America, how are you? Uh, I'm your native son. And that is the white man with the cowboy hat on that represents uh, Indiana. Okay? Uh, so it's going to be difficult because there's been a wedding involving the family that owns this hotel. Uh, and so now I'll just play the video and we'll see what the secret society on this occasion is able to do in wartime and in peacetime. Yet they're trading with the enemy even in wartime. Uh, sorry, I've lost the... Uh, Okay, and I think we've got the sound system 
set up. Right. In America, connections are everything. It is secret societies that provide the highway to grant members lifelong access to the dark corridors of power. Skull and Bones is one such network, emanating from a temple tomb at Yale University and stretching all the way up to George W. Bush himself. We met a wall of secrecy when we called past members to uncover the story of Skull and Bones. Many tried to deny all knowledge of the private club formed in 1832. Uh, I, I, I'm not, uh, I don't have a comment on that. Our membership is, uh, is private. The membership is private. So remember the Bushes came from Germany in the Mulheim region, which is the place where all of the inventors came from. That is Dyson who invented the Hoover. Yeah, and all of the families that have been in the videos that are covered by sporting events and all of the characters that trip each other up in the races at the Olympics are members of the German aristocratic families. And they have gone to America and they've called themselves Betty Grable uh, and that is the families that are closest to the Bush dynasty and the Tyson dynasty is one of the most evil things that ever walked this earth. Yeah, they are the uh, founders of the massive munitions industry in Germany. Yeah, and they uh, led the propaganda that meant that Germany wanted to go to war uh, for some civil things that had happened in the lead up to that war. Uh, and it is absolutely brutal how they have led the world. Yeah from the secret societies since then. Yeah, and that is the secret societies that are in every university in America and in Britain. And all of the university chancellors and vice chancellors are on the take like the uh, uh, industrial magnets that we're talking about here. The Bushes were oil billionaires uh, and all of the names will come out in subsequent videos. These are the families that are planning to take over the world out of fucking Nazi Germany in the 30s when they were planning the Great War. And they'd already planned the Great One that led up to that, eh, and that is the Kaiser, who was the cousin of Queen Victoria, eh, the grandson of Queen Victoria in Britain. All of it, eh, the money stream, for the notorious families that are the money lenders, that are the owners of the Federal Reserve Bank, that are the owners of every bank in the world, and they own every bank through the Masonic links out of Germany, yeah, and Switzerland, and all of their attempts to take over the world uh, include the great crusades that were led by Baldwin of Hollywood, <laughs> yeah, and Conradian of Hollywood, and all of some of those have actually gone to jail. Tyson uh, went tokenistically to jail, uh, and then went straight back to America to uh, to uh, Germany to Mulheim. That is the joke that Jesus is the donkey. That is still the case on the Brexit job. That is the braying Italian donkey that is Jesus. And for every politician who understands that, that is the world's biggest joke, and it earns them £100,000 a year for being buffoons. And they've decided this week to take another holiday and take another fortnight off. And I really can't tell you whether I am or I'm not. Are you serious? Yeah. The symbolism, of course, is the skull and crossbones, right? the death's head, coat and puff, I guess, as the, as the SS called it. Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah? Ever since the piracy and the ships 
got them there with the gunpowder to uh, decimate the local incumbents and to allow some of them to become double agents right at the very start. That is the legendary Indian uh, that helped feed them through, that's Pocahontas, that helped feed them through the earliest frozen winters because the gods determine the weather patterns. <laughs> yeah? Yale's secret exclusive society producing America's leaders 2002 when the Bushes are beginning to get their pathologies also acts a god. In the Second World War. It's a very sinister symbolism. Uh, it is obviously pre Masonic. But now the club's rituals and old boy network are coming to life. Most people want to, 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 to get along, to, to, to gain power and uh, prestige. And they know the way to do that is to listen to the guy above you. So if there's someone, say, in Stone Bones, calls people in the notes, and these people know what the paths are going to be, it only takes a hint or a suggestion. What we have here is a private network acting really in violation of the United States Constitution infesting the White House, the National Security Council, the State Department, the Pentagon, the CIA, and other government uh, institutions. And yet... It would be nice if the speakers and the accusers uh, were able to identify them, but I don't see any evidence of that yet. All this power stems from the lifelong bonds formed in the Skull and Bones rituals where an oath of secrecy is sworn. Do you know how it all started out? Uh, it's been established for, I think, about 150 years in New Haven uh, by undergraduates and graduates of Yale University. Fifteen members are elected each year. Basically, personal relationships are the most important product of uh, the, the years that you spend in relationship to the organization. Oh, yeah. that the emissaries of the various secret societies would come up behind them, tap them on the shoulder, and say something like, Skull and Bones, do you accept? And generally, of course, they did accept, and then the, uh, as the people were tapped, they then left the courtyard and proceeded to the uh, vault-like or mausoleum-like headquarters of these secret societies. Uh, that, I think, since has been abolished or moved indoors or somehow uh, is no longer so easy to observe as it might have been, say, 50 or 100 years ago. Part of so that is them putting on their Ku Klux Klan gear. All of that is the pretense that they are druids, uh, and all of that is the Ku Klux Klan that is quite prepared to be a secret society and massacre people in the backyard on the quiet. But the problem is the source of information. We have very little about the bones from the tomb itself, and most comes indirectly, such as an article written by a, a student uh, that went to, uh, to Yale and actually lived in the uh, Jonathan Edwards dorm, and he had this to say. It was part of the Jonathan Edwards folklore that on the April evening following tap night at Bones, if one could climb to the tower of Weir Hall, the odd castle that overlooks the Bones courtyard, one could hear strange cries and moans coming from the bowels of the tomb as the 15 newly tapped members were put through what sounded like a harrowing ordeal. Returning alone to my room late at night, I would always cross the street rather than walk the sidewalk that passed right in front of bones, even at that safe distance. So, so you get the tapping joke for Will He now. All of it is secret lingo for the secret societies that have stolen the world's banks from the world's people. And all of that is absolutely ancient, going right back to Italy uh, in the, uh, uh, even before the Norman conquest occurred in Britain. Yet those are the earliest banks, but the names of the families are the same. Yeah, I'm gonna make videos on that later on. I will not spoil it, 
but the families that are on the Federal Reserve will not tell you what their names are. Most of them have become known for their greed and their presence on the world's 3B communities that are the Committee of 300 and the Committee of 1001. That includes George W. Bush's co-director, that is Osama bin Laden and his brother. <laughs> yeah, and that is George W. Bush, what brought down the Twin Towers, and everybody knows now what the motives were and why the British royals were involved. And that's why they've invented a love island to take your attention off of it. And all of it is always paid by the taxpayers and the ratepayers globally, like the taxes in America, still go, because it's the Empire State, to the Queen of England in Windsor. And that is the links to Windsor and the earliest links to William the Conqueror and Lynn Forrester, the Rothschild, in uh, Windsor Forest. Something about it made my skin crawl. If you were invited to join the tomb cult, you became part of the East Coast Anglo-Saxon elite, joining the rock... So that is the Druids. Do you get it? The Ku Klux Klan and the capacity to burn people at the stake. <laughs> well, the Harrimans in the bushes. And it's even in George Clooney's movies, yeah? And that is their narrow escape from being executed and hung up that is George Clooney, who is the cover for the early, earliest Cluniac abbeys that were the first Vatican in world history in southern France. Yeah, and that is why George Clooney, the reason he made the casino movies was that the name of Charlemagne, the world's serial killer in the name of Christianity, yeah, and the launch of the killing of every pagan in Europe by the ruthless families that still own the banks all across the world. Yeah, that is the that is the thirty years war, war, and then it was followed by the Guelph versus Ghibelline, one thousand years war of uh, the uh, the the two sides. Then were Guelph versus Ghibelline, that is the Archbishop of Canterbury's Elf Oil Company. The other lot are the Gibbs, and that is the Bee Gods that were the Bee Gees. Do you get it? All of them quite easy to track down now, because all of them have uh, other income streams other than the banks that they've stolen, and the religious uh, people are the richest in the world. Yeah, that is the Geithners that are one of the earliest Italian families, uh, like the ones that are depicted uh, Rosenberg in the Mozart movie uh, about Vienna, and that is Kaiser Wilhelm, and that is the Queen's cousin, uh, ne uh, grandson in World War I and World War II. They are the enemies that are fighting against each other. They are two generations apart in the bloodline. It's absolutely sordid, and Hitler is the full cousin of the Queen of England in World War II, and both of them are sired by, by Rothschild bastards, eh, but by Rothschild eh, semen samples or actual donations from the Prime Minister, who is Winston Churchill, who is the father of Bill Clinton, Princess Margaret, and the Queen herself. Uh, right then, and uh, his father had to kill the true King of England because that is Marcus Manuel, and all of that becomes Manuel the waiter and the ownership of the banks in Switzerland for the Templars, yeah, who have all of the wealth and the war loot in the hands of the 30 richest people in the world. That is the Club of 30. So the, the core 
as you go through the early 20th century, is comprised of 15 or 20 families. So can you see why they call it a secret society? Even when it's being exposed, they do not identify who's talking. Partially from old line American families going back to the pilgrims. And partially from money, uh, banking money, that came up to the late 19th century. Conversation at that level is all off the record. There's no press involved. So it's like the men are getting uh, kind of a first-hand understanding. It may not be any big trade secrets or anything, but they're getting this kind of off-the-record understanding of the way things are, or the way things should be. And I think this certainly gives them an advantage in the world, in the economic world, because, you know, they know what the directions are, what the you know, movers and shakers are thinking, and um, what some of the major policy considerations that are being considered. Are there any famous members or well-known members? George Bush. The George Bush. Yeah. So that's inaccurate too, that there is a George Herbert Walker Bush and there is a George W. Bush, which I think is Walker too. Yeah, the one that was George Herbert Walker is better known as Poppy and that is on the websites that I'm going to show you later on if my camera uh, lasts long enough. That's that kind of, um... the links to ancient Rome, and that's why the Bushes used to call their mansion in Maine, in America, where the pilgrims landed, it, the name of their mansion was Vesuvius. Yeah, which is the volcano that exploded when the Piso family, who lived right under Vesuvius, in the Villa Papyri for a laugh, yeah, they are directly on the Bush and Windsor family tree with King Herod and everybody that uh, planned the life of the non-existent Jesus. And that is why when they released the Bible 79 years beyond the birth of their fictitious character, the, the uh, mountain that is the volcano that is Vesuvius erupted onto their home. And that is the gods that I now worship, even although I was a Catholic altar boy. And there is the sun god, Sol Natalus Invictus, yeah, that has been replaced by the first king in the Piso Bible. His name was Saul, but he was spelt S A. U L. Sorry, the sun's uh, <laughs> the sun's uh, still uh, got to come round the corner of the ma the massive. Uh, uh, oh no, there he is. <laughs> oh, could it be she? No one's able to know that unless she visited them before. So this is a secret member giving the interview that reveals the secrets, but not his name. Interested in the personal uh, issues than uh, the external achievement. And yet... So that is the Panzer Regiment in Germany, all of it made by Tyson, yeah? And he was still in Germany in those early years of the war. The Bushes were already Nazis planning the Fourth Reich in America with Mengele, Skozerny, Hitler's bodyguard, and all of them are just nicknames for the aristocratic families that are like Betty Grable. Uh, that, is, that is the legendary uh, family names for the Bush family tree that are Geli Rabal, and all of them are Hitler Rothschild's bloodline tree. Do you get it? Betty Grebel is Geli Rabal on Hitler Alois Rothschild's family tree. That's Alois 
the E. Louis dynasty picked for greatness, in other words, to be the greatest dictators in world history. Membership of Skull and Bones seems to result in remarkable careers. Among its members are three presidents, a clutch of judges, CIA officials and various tycoons. At least two of them are Bush. Yeah, that's the two that we've just profiled, even although they're still talking in singular. They swear to take care of each other's interests, and they do it. And uh, when uh, that, that in the normal conduct of uh, life is probably okay, but when one of them becomes president of the United States, it's time to ask questions. What have you sworn to do for your brothers? And what interests are you pushing that are really on their agenda, not on the agenda of the American people? George W. Bush has been asked about his membership of the Skull and Bones. Do they still exist? And the thing is so secret that I'm not even sure it still exists. Record that. So he was the boss of the CIA. He's pictured taking the piss out of that position, yeah, at the CIA. And that is the CIA that declared, yeah, that the Bushes were implicated in the uh, killing of Kennedy. All of it has been swept under the carpet because his launch into America was by the families that launched Bill Clinton into America too. Uh, and that is the families that are uh, Winston Churchill, the British Royals, they'd still call America uh, the uh, the thing about estate, the <laughs> empire estate, yeah, that is the uh, paying of all of America's taxes to the Queen and King of England ever since they planned the war together and the diasporas from ancient Europe into America to kill the pagan Indians. That's my native sons. Yeah, and that is uh, the massively uh, insulting videos and movies that were made on Soldier Blue and cutting the tits off the American Indians. Yeah, it's all, and they used to hang them on a Christian cross in the logos for the movie. Yeah, it's absolutely uh, immoral. Uh, and murderous and it's genocidal and that is why the 500 nations that used to be the American Indians have been replaced by Pocahontas's tribe and they kept the pilgrims alive in the first frozen months on the Plymouth Rock. That's the most unusual question I've ever been asked in my entire political <laughs> Uh, with Bush, we, we reached the bottom of the barrel in terms of American politicians. You have to look at him again and again and say, how did this guy make it? Bonesman helped fund George W.'s extraordinary rise to power, spending millions on a Bush billboard campaign in key swing states. No family has produced more club members than the Bushes. Nine members of the clan, including Bush's father, the 41st president, are among its alumni. So that's his father, yeah, the one that we just saw that is the uh, middle name Chase, yeah, they are uh, actually still inhabiting the borders uh, and they're absolute dimwits and they still come and talk to you and they are the ones that used to stone me on the shoots at the... Uh, Duke of Northumberland's territory. He is linked into this syndicate because he is, Barbara Pierce is a, descended from Percy of Anik. That's the poison garden and the murders of their own families and the fact that they still manipulate the narcotics and poison laws to launch that garden uh, the year that they killed their own brother using an overdose of MDMA. Yeah, and the same year that Madonna made the MDMA uh, uh, disc 
album uh, in Britain. Devotees are supposed to leave the room if the society's name is mentioned, in case they betray its secrets. So every, every bank in London is a Masonic Lodge. In America, if you're going to be a president, you've got to be in the Masons. Yeah, and they're not allowed to have women in the Masons, which is why they've never had a female American president. And on any other issue on this earth, that would cause a massive uh, fuss. Yeah, possibly even a revolution, but not in this case, because there are secrets. Okay, you have them. And the White House is the same design as the papal residence and most of the presidential bloodlines and the police bloodlines, because they're named after the same basis, that is Arius Piso, yeah? Uh, and that is the White House is the equivalent of the papal residence. And that's why uh, J.K. Rowling's residence in Cramond, where Miss Jean Brodie used to live, uh, like the fascists do, that is where John Lamont, uh, Julian Callum Lamont, sorry, uh, is registered as one of the richest people in Britain. Uh, and John Lamont is never seen now in his hometown. Since I reported that he interlocks with a woman called Lamont and a man who used to have uh, 25 directorates in the same companies as Julian Callum Lamont, that is the Duke of Buccleuch and Queensbury, that is John Scott, who's the third cousin of the Queen of England in Dalkeith. Um, you haven't met Bush, or? Oh yes, he was a couple years behind me, but I, knew, I, I, I have met him. That's the inbuilt secret that is the mountain from the molehill for all of the Christian murderers of all of the pagans all across Europe. The mountain from the molehill. And that's why the gods have a laugh at that when they trip up the first uh, orange man to take over the United Kingdom. That is William of Orange died when his horse, which is an icon for the Piso family that lived in the Villa Papyri, in underneath Vesuvius, yeah, that's why William of Orange died when his horse tripped on a molehill. Bush Senior's skull and bones name was Magog, the name given to the most sexually experienced bonesman. George W. is known as Temporary since he was too lazy to change his initial name. All of that is the same story as Jekyll Island and the people that came through. The name of the boat that brought across most of the Nazis yeah, in the middle of World War I was Kaiser Wilhelm II. <laughs> yeah, all of them are cousins. Right through all of the wars, they engineer against their cousins to kill they're poor people. And I don't know whether or not the Kilties still do not appreciate that the Kilt and the Tartans are the name of the earliest gods that these guys invented. That is Taranis in Holland, yeah, where William of Orange navies assembled the armaments to allow them to go to Devon in England and to conquer the now terrified Stuart dynasty that was a Catholics and they were to be beheaded. Uh, over 50 names were listed by Queen Anne that were Catholics closer to the claimants to the throne than the Protestants that came as George I, that is the Hanoverian Protestants that had their secret chapels 
in their massive mansions with their Protestant chapels at the top and their Catholic chapels so that they would not be beheaded and that they could take over the United Kingdom that had been uh, used as a battle zone because Oliver Cromwell was the Prime Minister that was the military government. That then becomes the Covenanters' Wars in Scotland, the Episcopalian Wars, the uh, Lutherans from Germany already, and all of the new churches that include Episcopalian for the American presidents. That has got the word piso in it, which is why they love to have a laugh at their ancestry and the naming of their police, which is why George Bush and his dad used to hold the pistols in front of their mouths and blow the smoke away that is pistol that contains the word piso that is the launch of global policing and many of the police like Lord Condon are papal bloodlines for a laugh and if you look at the Future of Russia Fund pictures with Jacob Rothschild uh, uh, Murdoch and his kids and all of the politicians that ran for Prime Minister, yeah, the one that was second to Boris, uh, is depicted in that massive corporate exposure. Uh, all of them are sitting there with jockeys' hats on, which is the papal hat. All of them are out of those earliest banking families that were run, uh, and that is the Mozart film again. <laughs> yeah? We're not Jesus' holy relics, Mozart. Behave yourself. <laughs> that is Jesus that makes them all billionaires like the Monty Python's team. Skull and Bones is just one of many secret societies scattered around the United States that still dominate the paths. So there is Hedwig for Bohemian Grove in the movies made by J.K. Rowling, Hedwig, that is, she's got a massive mansion that used to be owned by David Murray of Rangers' son in Cramond High Street, yeah, right opposite the graveyard for the church that Miss Jean Brodie used to attend, and they have skull and bones icons on every grave, yeah, it's the secret elite societies that sacrifice their victims in that was what was showing uh, before the sun came out and poured onto the town of Colstrom that I'm living in. Yeah. <laughs> and that is Hedwig in the stories of the Arthurian legends and the owls that give the advice to the politicians. It's the power. In San Francisco, there is the men-only Bohemian Grove Club. So that is the sacrificial place that made me fall out with Sean Maguire the other day. Macron attends. Uh, the head of the Mormons, head of the Mormons that looks as if he is the parentage of Macron. Macron was a French banker uh, like de Gaulle. Pompidou and all of the presidents, uh, the bankers and the French presidents in wartime are always Rothschild bankers. And even although everybody knows it, you don't have to keep that a secret in a secret society. And remember that they've not told us anything yet. You have a group that sees itself as superior to all others within society. And I think that is the element which is carried over from Skull and Bones into these organizations, this superiority. This is a private club. You're not supposed to be here at all. Then turn the camera off. I'm sorry, where's your property This line? is what happened when we tried to film at the Bohemian Grove Club. Where's the property line? I'm not sure. Oh, go, 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 go. No, this is a public street. Found in it. So that's why the police will not allow people to go in and investigate whether or not there are really human sacrifices in the grove behind the building. 
because Piso launched the police and all of the elite families that are able to take over every landmass on the world. And that's called fleecing the world, and that is Jason and the Argonauts. Uh, and all of that is real, and they're actually out of Switzerland, the Templar families. In 1872, by media and businessmen, modern day members have included Ronald Reagan and Henry Kissinger. Move. Well, okay, we got the hospitality, the negative hospitality of the San Francisco Bohemian Club. <laughs> there have been cases where people have written about the club and uh, or snuck in. Um, uh, Dirk Matheson from People Magazine stuck, snuck in um, and was actually spotted by a, by a Time Warner executive and expelled from, from, from the club, uh, I mean from the Grove. That is the Warners who used to live in Poland, yet yeah, where the two Kaisers, yet yeah, they insisted after they had lost the wars, being buried under a swastika covered uh, uh, coffin. And that is the swastika that is the icon for the Freemasons for 3,000 years already. And it's now the symbol for the Jesus is cross, but 3,000 years ago, Jesus was not alive, remember? Yeah, and he was not alive until 79 AD, because that is the amount of time that it took to fake him up in the stories and to get the books and the Bibles distributed partially around the world. Ma uh, that is the uh, descendants to Christina Aguilera and the forced women that were the bosses at Harvard until I reported them as being descendants of Marcus Aurelius, who started the print runs of the Bible. And um, he, in fact, lost his job six months later, although they, they claimed that it wasn't related to that, but uh, it was certainly coincidental. These secret networks have also taken their elitist mentality a stage further. Skull and Bones and George Bush Sr. have both been linked to the eugenics movement, belief in the superiority of the Anglo-Saxon race. And fellow Bonesian, Avril Harriman, has been strongly... So that is the brown Harriman families that were the mayors of New York right up to 1969. Yet they were trading with the enemies as Tyson's relatives in Germany when the Bushes were still in Germany and all of the sordid people that they brought across are massively uh, destructive mind control advocates because the Nazis used mind control yeah, in Germany and uh, all of a sudden it appears in America. That is the person that is alleged to have raped Gwyneth Paltrow uh, was Weinstein. The real Weinstein is a mind control professor at Columbia University in America. That's the Columbia State Complex that is linked to the Vatican uh, and uh, Washington. Uh, and that, sorry, the, the Vatican, the, the uh, Colombian state, and uh, I forget what the third wing of the pyramid is for the jokers that pretend that they're releasing secrets. <laughs> yeah, with their camel coats on for the three wise men. <laughs> Yeah, it's all a massive piss take. And he's got a piezo pipe, I think. It's very, very difficult to see what he's got in his hand. Uh, right then. So, so the Vatican in Rome, the 
Columbia University in Washington. I forget what the third wing, oh, London. Yeah, which is still a tax haven. That is the three corners of the uh, pyramid for the New World Order. Implicated with US business funding for Hitler. There he is. I paid Hitler Fritz Tyson in Mulheim, which is the donkey that is the uh, Easter Sunday joke uh, that never ever lived. That is the braying donkey that is Brexit to this very day. That is the braying Italian donkey and X is his signature on his non-existent birth certificate. And all of them are able to get away with that right through the history of their lives. And that is why they earn £100,000 so that the Rothschilds make every decision on every war and every financial deal that ever happens. Uh, and the Rothschild agents uh, from Asia are just passing by across the road. That is the families that are San Susi, uh, and they are the earliest banks in India, uh, and that is, uh, that is the uh, massive steal he managed to get the weddings from the Rothschild family, and I think he's taping it on his mobile phone across the road. <laughs> Just decided to move on a wee bit. Yeah, they are now running the kebab shops in Kelsa. Yeah, and they entered my room without my permission on the night that they were sleeping in this hotel. <laughs> yeah, that is the lookalike for Arius Piso that were the earliest families they are the launch of narcotics into China. 200 years of that. Sassoon, yeah, with the turban on, because all of them are Jews, and that is the massive joke, even in the Bible, and even in the death camps, they are using the Jews as labor, eh, and all of it then becomes the anti-Semitic notion that the man that goes to Davos, that is Willy Weasel, goes there because he's a Jew and he believes in poverty. He's there because all of them are billionaires. That says, I paid Hitler Fritz Tyson from Mulheim in the Alps. Mulheim, yeah? In the movie that is The Godfather, that is, do the donkey for us. <laughs> Yeah, he ee-haw, and that is why Butlins have now backed off as my persecutors. They used to employ me. They employed the Fleming family that were the Gillies for Butlins, and Butlins is the real name for the company, is Born Leisure, and that is the Austrian emperors that are the Bornemissa Forbes, Rich listers, tread carefully. If you ever get a job with them, they will sack you on a whim. And they used to own the Collingwood Hotel just round the corner, which is why they had all the scandals about the uh, women and disappearing uh, until the policemen showed up just in time to rescue their daughters from the kidnappers. In the 30s. Uh, are they done? No. There's uh, all that tradition, and it has to be protected, and it has great wealth to protect. And how do they protect it? They'll find new means. They'll, uh, they'll hold offices, they'll hold appointive offices and elective offices, and they will be uh, uh, in charge of huge amounts of money. The Skull and Bones today is one of a number of groups. It happens to be now a semi-secret group. If this is one secret organization, and I was fortunate enough. So there is Elliot. There is Kinney. There is Clark. Yeah, and all of them 
that people like Kelly Clarkson, uh, when you look at some of the videos I made on the Wooster families and the family names that go to America, all of them are the people that are in the Rothschilds' wars. Yeah, that's the Duke of Wellington. Their family name is Wood, uh, and that is all over the uh, diasporas to America and to Australia and all the great continents. Uh, and that's the Elliots of Springwood uh, and Roosevelt's estate on the island in New York uh, is uh, Springwood. That's the Roosevelt's of Selkirk and the Elliots of Kelson. And they had to knock over their massive mansions so that none of that could be discovered. But they still gloat that the earliest trading opportunities in the stock market are tulip, tulips from Amsterdam. Can you see how the surveillance team has to get the news obfuscated at exactly the right time? Uh, and there is... Uh, so all of the aristocratic families actually look like the uh, Nazi families, uh, but when you dissect it, on, in my Bertie Wooster videos, you find that they are, like Geli Rabal, just Hollywood actresses, and they used to be the Austrian nobility. And I have a conspiracy theory about certain hotel owners in Coldstream, <laughs> uh, but I will not tell you it yet. To get the membership list. How do I so there is Mansfield, that is the joke about the man, and that is every church in the world is a man's, and the man is Arius Pisa. Yeah? That is <laughs> the, uh, the same joke for Lemon, the Lemon family that, that uh, crashed the banks in 2008. All of it is the man. And that is Lemon, the football manager, who used to be at Celtic, I don't know where he is now. All of them are the man that is Arius Pisa. Yeah? Try to understand the man. I know him so well. For uh, Dixon and, I forget what the little blonde is, but all of it is the parody that the Bible author is the most powerful man that ever lived, which is why Nancy Pelosi uh, took the White House into a strike uh, when they were not getting paid enough at the beginning of the year. <laughs> Pelosi has the word Pisa in it, like Sopel, and all of those owl jokes, Sopel has the same eyes as the owl you've seen, and it's all through the Arthurian legends. Yeah, and that is where uh, the translators of those legends learned the Abba, the pop singer, means Father God. And when you twin it with what happened at Waterloo and the taking over of all of the banks by these secret societies, you then begin to understand the magnitude of things. There is Katy Perry and the legendary families that are Piso. Yet remember that George Bush choked on a pretzel. <laughs> Everything has piso in it, including the Latin American currencies. Yeah, that is the uh, the piso or the peso, uh, and that was in Spain right up to 2000. Uh, that was the peseta. All of it is the pistic that is the pretzel. Yeah, and he's on the Bush bloodline, and what they've done immediately after... Uh, I made the video with a man called Jim Fetzer, who's actually from Alsace and is part of the plot to take over the whole of Europe and then the whole of the world. Uh, that is the families from Alsace that are right next door to Karlstadt, which is where St Boniface, that is the launch of false religion in Frankfurt, yeah, but Karlstadt is the first place to build him a cathedral. And that is right next to the airbase 
<laughs> that was used to save the President of America in Air Force One. That's the Ramstein Air Base in Karlstadt with a statue of all of the fake religious uh, cardinals in the earliest phases of the scam. Donald Trump is in the Roddenroth uh, family trees. Uh, and no, no, we'd better not take photos of the Germanic faces that you have to drink with in the pub every night. Uh, right there. Not this one. So, uh, Perry, uh, Lee, Mason, Mead. Uh, Why not? Will anybody know they're not other? Another Perry. Secret groups who I have not, or nobody. Thatcher. Yeah, everything right into the plot that is the life of uh, Twain, the author, Mark Twain. The name of the teacher in the school was Thatcher. Yeah, they painted the fence white. That is the whiteboards for every American corporate that Donald Trump has 3,000 of. Yeah, he's Donald Roddenroth Trump Heller for Rockefeller with their golf balls. And that's why his golf courses in America are called Augusta, yeah, because that is the first emperor that was liked by his people in Rome, and he was there when Jesus was invented, but Jesus was not actually born in the year dot, because he had to wait till 79, and so did the volcano. We also had the membership list. So we also had to take... So wait for this. When George Bush's family got the power in America to launch the Nazis from Germany into the White House, he dug up the skull of Geron Geronimo eh, and put it yeah, into one of the meetings. That is Geronimo, the native Indian. Yeah? And that is the uh, <laughs> that is the uh, George Bush family that then took over from Nixon the Bohemian Grove uh, title of being capable of being uh, occultists, yeah and making human sacrifices, and that is the, what led me this week to learn that as well as having every lodge, every bank in London being a Masonic lodge, every hosp there are umpteen uh, uh, free Masonic hospitals in London looking for the pre prematurely born victims that will die in Bohemian Grove. Yeah, and all of that premature birth is engineered in the families so that their bloodline can keep their wealth. And then they can take over the role of the monarchy that is incapable of having babies because they have uh, used all of the secret society and occult methods that mean that you can apply a witch to them uh, and you can make them have babies that are not viable, or you can give them syphilis by breeding with the families that are the most sordid. That's the blue blood diseases, and all of it was told by Greg Hallett, whose books are now being sold by the practicing witch that helped to murder him. And her name is Demelo, and that is uh, Rothschild Yellow. Uh, I think we're nearly finished with the video. There's not many secrets in it, I'm afraid. The, the hypothesis uh, in mind that there could be other groups which are truly secret. Nobody here is aware of their existence. And there's loads of faces, and he could just have gone along and said, that one's Tyson, that one's Brown Harriman, 
and that's Pamela Digby Churchill, and that is the uh, Winston Churchill's babies that are Bill Clinton. But no, it's still a secret. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I apologise for the adrenaline surge that you might have got thinking that the secret societies were going to become exposed. Which have this. But let's find the pictures of Trump and the Mormon leaders, yeah, and Bill Gates and all of the Forbes rich listers that now replace that lot on the secret societies in Bohemian Grove. Which have this uh, out of purpose. And the ones that sneak in with the camera in the more recent ones are actually the ones that were the bankers in the Mozart story in ancient Italy. Yeah, that is the uh, Rothschild red colour, uh, and I forget what the name of the man was in Vienna uh, that, uh, that got Mozart to play with for him after he had done it years before. Uh, at the age of six. Yeah, and that is the massive Hohenzollern castle for the Kaisers that are the grandchildren of the Queen of England, who's the bastard child of uh, all of the people that are Winston Churchill's uh, semen samples. Yeah, and Pamela Digby Churchill actually made love to him in their mansion that is 10 Downing Street that is now Boris Johnson's Willingdon Boys uh, Haven. So there they are again, the same images uh, but I think we'll skip it. Uh, so, let, let me first show you the Bush family bloodlines. Uh, and So there's Fred Cock. And the moment I saw that picture, I knew that those folk are in the borders. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. So they are at the beating uh, system, and the only beating that I've ever attended has been for the Duke of Northumberland, who's married to the Lord Sheriff of Northumberland, who launched the fucking Poison Garden the year that they murdered the elder brother so that they could become the Duke and the Duchess. And the other beaters might have been shot in the head but they're dimwits supreme, but they're really nice and they come and talk to you all of the time because they're part of the intel movement for Percy. He's Perseus the poet in Rome. And I did not know <laughs> that that's that one that has all of those aristocratic traits like the royal family, that he is actually from Fred Seacock's line and that is the Chase Manhattan Bank, and that is the linkage to Rothschild and Fleming in Dundee. Yeah, and Scottish widows all over the world in their kilts. Because that is the TARDIS for the police, that is the polis and the pistols that are named after Piso. Right then, let me show you the real bushes, and show you how. Uh, so there is the tank. Bush Nazi link confirmed. The New Hampshire Gazette. Sorry, kid, this was never supposed to leak out. Grandpa and the Nazi connection for Bush. Don't worry, Poppy. I'll just classify it all as a secret. That's a policeman, by the way. That's George Herbert Walker Poppy Bush of ancient Rome and Naples, which is Pompeii, which is 
Vesuvius. Okay. Uh, Washington, after 60 years, that's Piesel code for Arius Piesel, of inattention and even denial by the US media, newly uncovered government documents in the National Archives and Library of Congress reveals that Prescott, remember that's Tony Blair's second in command, Prescott Bush, the grandfather of President George W. Bush, served as a business partner of and US banking operative for the financial architect of the Nazi war machine, wait for this, from 1926 until 1942, when Congress took aggressive action against Bush and, in inverted commas, his enemy national partners. That is them uh, planning and uh, riling up all of the participants in all of the wars so that they can become trillionaires like the Rothschilds. The documents also show that Bush and his colleagues, according to reports from the US Department of the Treasury and the FBI, tried to conceal their financial alliance with German industrialist Fritz Tyson, a steel and coal baron who, beginning in the mid-1920s, personally funded Adolf Hitler's, that's Adolf Hitler Rothschild's, rise to power by the subversion of a democratic principle and German law. Furthermore, the declassified records demonstrate that Bush and his associates who included E. Roland Harriman, yeah, that's the Harriman family that become Brown Brothers Harriman, and that is Eva Braun in Germany, and the Braun family that ran the photography operations when Hitler was escaping from the bunker. Younger brother of American icon W. Averill Harriman, and George Herbert Walker, President Bush's maternal great-grandfather, continued their dealings with German industrial baron for nearly eight months after the US entered the war. Brown Harriman, he became the uh, mayor of New York uh, immediately before the one that was still in power when they brought down the Twin Towers and that was the Bush family's uh, retirement gesture. All of them coerced into it. All of the funders for it now being allegedly uh, mass uh, kidnapped and then killed in the Saudi regimes that they were in. Yeah, that is the, uh, all of the usual suspects that are all over my website until they take the pictures down, which they do nearly every day, because they've got thousands of people that are on their payroll, even in the White House, when they, they realise that the great uh, high priests of Israel are the Cohens. Yeah, they had to shut the Cohen brothels, because that story was released in London, in Soho. Uh, and when that happened, uh, uh, sorry, way after that had all happened, uh, I reported that on the Little Sis website there are over 450 Cohens working in the powers that be that is the White House and all of the links to that and intel and spying globally uh, using the English-speaking world to steal the rest of the world. And that's why they're all now protecting... Jeff Bezos of Amazon, because he's in uh, uh, Stalin.